and seeing if he can maximize his gain on Tony Stewart today. Oh, Benson got in turn three a little bit too hard that time, but he got a grip up there and gained him a car length or two on Mark Martin. Saw Mark kind of slide the back end when he was in Rapids, Michigan on the edge of the couch right now. Boy, don't you know there are. Johnny Here Benson. Go ahead, Ben. Mark. Oh, I tell you what, he gets that great run off four. Terrific run. And they're getting off the two about even. Watch him here off the two. And you got Jim McMurray. He must have stopped the tires, obviously. Yes, he did. Yep. But it looks like Mark is getting off a four a little bit better. And here's two completely different lines that they're getting it done with. Enough to get alongside. There. Martin's there. He's got the fender underneath him. Six laps to go. Oh, Mark goes down on the apron of the racetrack, trying to avoid the 10 car, but he's still there. They're side by side off the now. Oh, Benson pulls out well, in front. With the tires right now, it's going to be very difficult for Mark to stay side by side getting off a of turn two. He's going to have to really have a car on him in order to do that because there's no grip down there. Five. Oh, wow. Mark and John Andretti. Andretti just came off the pit road a minute ago. Five to go. Johnny Benson, a second generation racer from Grand Rapids, Michigan, grew up in his dad's garage watching John Benson Sr. build winning race cars for years. See, John, John just took Mark's exit off the two yeah. away, and that hurt Mark probably a car lap or two. 43 car just stopped on fresher tires. He goes through the leaders. If you can't drip coming out of two up against the wall, you, you got to get out of the throttle, and that's where Mark lost a lot of time right there. Definitely wheel spinning those tires off of two. Mark is. 19 car, Jeremy Mayfield. He was in on fresh tires. He'll come through the leaders pretty quickly. And here again, these guys with two tires are taking the racetrack away from Mark and, and even Johnny, and it really could change the outcome of this race. But it's not affecting Johnny as much because he's running that high line. These guys going by on the inside. He's comfortable on the outside. Mark isn't. He, like, he, want, he wants to run on the bottom of the racetrack. Big game that time for Mark. And Jeremy Mayfield got around Johnny. Here Coming to two laps to go. Will the fuel hold up for both of these drivers? Who will win? Here you go, pal. Get all you get. Johnny Benson in his 226th Winston Cup start, seeking victory number one. Mark Martin looking for his 34th career win and again in the championship. He's right on the bumper as they come to the white flag. And Benson's teammate, Kenny Schrader, is out of fuel on the apron. White flag is up. Final lap at Rockingham. Fuel and the checkered flag. How's it going to play out? Benson protects the bottom in one and two. Here comes Mark on the charge. So far, so good on fuel. Final quarters ahead. Martin diving down low, one final charge off the last corner. It's not going to be enough. Johnny Benson is a NASCAR Winston Cup winner. And the first thing he just thought was finally, finally, yes. Yeah. I thought this work, this day would never come. The 1996 Winston Cup Rookie of the Year. Finally, all these years later, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll get a trophy. Looks like Jeff Green ran out of gas, too, coming off the final quarters. And looking down the board here, looks like Skinner did make it on fuel. And Tony Stewart finished 14th. Brown, I Everything he's ever raced, late models, ASA, the Bush Series, but it took 226 career starts in Winston Cup to finally get that victory. But you're here at Rockingham. You did it. Don't bring up those numbers. <laughs> make us make it look a little better than that. Uh, I'm extremely happy. Valvoline Pontiac guys has just done a tremendous job, Henrik Motorsports, and everybody involved with this race team. And uh, it just feels so good to get here. I mean, these guys really deserve it. They've um, they've had me close a lot of times. Just just haven't been able to get over that second place. And uh, I know James Ince is extremely happy. And uh, and like I say, he's been second so many times, and so, so have I. And 
I'm just glad we won it together. It feels really good. How'd you like Mark Martin on your tail right at the end there? Probably better Mark than maybe a couple other guys, but Mark's such a great, great racer, such a clean racer. And, you know, I think his theory is like mine. I mean, he's going to win. He's going to win it clean. He's not going to knock you out of the way. And just um, Mark ran a great race, and uh, Valvoline guys ran a great race. And just um, I I'm sure he wanted to beat that Valvoline car. He's been with them for a lot of years, but uh, he's won a lot of races for them. And I'm just glad that we can add another one to him. Well, Johnny Benson scores his first ever Winston Cup win here at the Rock, but Mark Martin was hot on his tail at the end. I didn't have enough race car to beat him, but uh, he didn't know that, and I was out of control, man, uh, overdriving it, and uh, it was just nice to be contending, you know, and if he'd have made one mistake, uh, you know, it'd have cost him, but uh, he didn't. Yeah, I was bummed to see the yellow come out with 100 to go because I knew our car had a 65 lap guarantee, but that was about it. The guys were going to wear us out after that. And so I can't think of two better guys to lose to than Mark Martin and Johnny Benson, class acts. And we just continue our momentum. It's tough not to win, but we, we had a victory today by finishing third. Everybody was happy to see Johnny Benson after coming so close so many times. And when you think about the year that he had, being injured twice in a bush race and in the cup race, and his car just got better as the day went on. I don't think they were very happy with their race car after the final practice yesterday. I heard Johnny say they put their heads together, changed about everything on that race car you could change this morning, and had to adjust on it all day. And I think that's the reason he didn't come into the picture until the final four of the race when the racetrack finally came to him. And he was very close on fuel, and that's the reason you saw earlier he had to be pushed to victory lane, but I'm sure he didn't care how he got to victory lane. And of course, this is MB2's first win yeah. as an organization, Jay Fry and that group, and James Ince's first win as a crew chief. You always like to see people get that first win. But